welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up a controller in the new Call of Duty mobile game within Game Loop. To start off with, first you need to plug in your controller that you want to use and once you have done this, you need to open up Game Loop. Once Game Loop is open, you now need to click on this little keyboard sign and you now need to click on Gamepad. It will automatically be selected on keyboard but we want to change to Gamepad. Once you have selected Gamepad, these two options here will be blank. You need to make sure they're both ticked like mine are and your left hand screen will be completely blank. You now need to drag these icons to the same location as mine are. You need to drag the left one over to here and you need to drag the right one to here. These are your joysticks on your controller. You also need to make sure gamepad is connected because if the gamepad isn't connected then this will not work. Once you have dragged the two joysticks over you now need to click over on the left hand side here and then you need to press the right trigger on your controller. And then you need to click over on this side here and you need to then press the left trigger on your controller. You now need to click here and press A which will be the jumping button on our controller. And you now need to click here, which will be X on our controller to reload. You can then change these keys down here. I've currently got up to change a weapon and then I've got right to change to a knife. And then also this key here, you need to click and then use the right trigger, which will be our shoot button. Basically when you click, this is what it will look like. You will have a blank little symbol and then you can basically set it to what you want. As you can see, I've just set that one to Y. I could set this one to left. You can't use the same button twice. If you want to remove the key map, then all you need to do is just press delete on the X. Once your screen looks like this, this is only basic. You can obviously add a lot more controls, but this is basically the simple move around, be able to jump, aim and shoot. Once you are happy with these settings, you can then go ahead and press save. You now need to click on to multiplayer. And you now need to click on this button here and you need to change it to practice versus AI. And you want to go confirm. You now need to press start and it will join us into a game. Once you are in the game, as you can see, I currently am using my controller. There's the left trigger to aim and right trigger to shoot. I can also press A to jump and I can use my arrows to change weapons. Once you are happy with the basic controls, you can then press F1 on your keyboard just to view where your controls are at. And if you want to then carry on adding more controls, then all you need to do is press F1 again and press Control on your keyboard. And you then need to press the little keyboard sign again. And then we can carry on adding more buttons. For example, I can add a button there and this will call out one of my strikes if I use the left arrow. There we go. And that will assign it to that. You then need to press save. And there we go. That is basically it. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.